Very excited supporters. Big numbers from New Zealand. And of course, always from Fiji. It's going to be a thriller. So Sarevi getting ready to come onto the field. They need his uh, control and authority. To Sarevi and they've given it to the right man now. He can control things. Time is up on the clock. It's a game worthy of the The great man gets the halfway. Carrying it on now is Bola Bola. Fantastic run of play. And look at this. A wonderful run in. A wonderful try. Who better to take Fiji into the final? And so it went to Bola Bola. But look at number six finding space for himself and then a little bit of a show once again when Fiji meets New Zealand in rugby sevens the earth moves New Zealand and Fiji are always competitive on the field I can remember that year when uh, the score was closed I was like just counting one will tackle one will get the ball and they need the third guy I was running straight down the post to post, coming down and then I was like yelling, get it, get it. When I took the ball and I saw two New Zealanders running, I stepped one and stepped the second one, then I ran. They think that I'll pass, so I just dummy, then I go again. Then I passed to one of our players, he stepped in, I went behind him and I knew he was going to step in again. So he passed to me, then I ran down, like I was running from uh, Fiji to Australia. I was really tired. but. When I took the ball, I didn't know what happened. I just kicked, I caught the ball from that hand, and I was like thinking, <laughs> I couldn't put it down again then. <laughs> Until one of the players were pointing, hey, run, 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 there's one coming. So it was really a good game, and I was feeling good when I scored the try, and uh, it was good for, for Fiji.